Odysseus had taken flight to the island of the Siren Song on his mechanical wings. He wore a pair stolen from Circe's weaponarium and massage parlor. You know that Odysseus visited Circe after Polyphemus. But go on. Phoenix was not so lucky. Wingless, she just had to believe. through the air, and then a miracle. Odysseus's wings appeared on her back. By the gods, I can fly. Those do not belong to Odysseus, and she's had them the entire time. Prometheus, she just had to believe. of the gods in her clutches. She would rule over all Olympus. You know she's trying to save all of you. Why would she do that? Maybe because we gave the mortals fire. Yeah, I chained you to a rock for all eternity as punishment. Good point. Why is she trying to help you? Exactly.
the cute little... Skip! It's a Minitoad, but actually Cerberus! Wasn't he with Hades that weekend? Did I say Cerberus? I meant a Griffin. Take it this ship Odysseus hid under to escape from Polyphemus. No! A lion! Might as well be a flock of roosters. Oh! Good call? You're not serious. The roosters of the sea. Isn't that tuna? Summoned by Poseidon to crack up a storm. <laughs> almost recovered the siren song, which would dispel Cersei's curse. The only way to do that is with herbs. I'm saying this as a friend. You need to cool it with the herbs. You get paranoid. It's awkward. Anyway, Phoenix felt the invisible hands of her ancestors giving her the strength to move mountains. That's not the strength of her ancestors. She's wearing the bracers of Heracles. This isn't some magical object that renders heavy things light. Prometheus, it's love. 